First news, Carbon 3D launches automated 3D printing. Carbon 3D, if you're not familiar with them, they are easily one of the largest resin 3D printing companies. Uh, they are a startup that got started back in about 2014, 2015, and they were the first ones to do really high-speed resin. With their resin process that require a curing of individual layers, they were able to move continuously. Uh, Carbon's been fairly quiet the last few years. I would say that since pandemic, they have continued to do stuff, but they didn't really introduce new stuff as often. Uh, this is a big one. This, uh, basically what they've done is they've put in an auto removal system and mechanism into their printers so that when a set of dental prints are finished, they automatically pop off. It's actually fairly similar to something I think we saw from Form Labs. Most of them end up doing this, basically a thin metal plate that the resin parts adhere to, and when they flex it, they pop off. So a flex build plate, just like with FDM machines and PEI sheets and that kind of thing. So uh, it's an interesting addition. Carbon isn't really looking at it necessarily to scale. They are targeting it towards the dental market. Um, so it, it's an interesting move, but it's not like a mass scale move. Uh, which makes sense because Carbon has always been really smart about preventing commoditization of their products, both through their leasing model of their machines and the actual industries that they went into. They are still kind of, I would say, focused on rapid prototyping, even though they do production because they're the ones who enabled the Adidas 4D shoe. Um, and are scaling that up with Adidas. So they're they're fine with production, but that's not really what they're targeting because when you get into production, you start decreasing your margins. Believe me, I know. Uh, so the it's a uh, an interesting move, but it's mainly to allow the machines to run overnight without having technicians continue to maintain them. It's not really a production system. It's a slightly accelerated prototyping system, which a lot of people are moving to. Um, but it's a, a significant product release for Carbon, who doesn't really have too many of those. So there's that.